Hello and welcome to this tutorial where we're going to be using Autodesk Inventor to draw an engineered component. This component is going to be a simple coat hook. Uh, we're going to use simple drawing tools and we're going to use some 3D modelling tools to create this product. So, uh, without further ado, we're going to start by going to the new icon top left uh, and there'll be a piece of paper where the top right hand corner looks like it's been folded over. I'm going to click that and your screen which should look something like this. Now, we need to create a new standard part, which would be one of these. Now, we need to make sure we've clicked metric first over here, and that will give us the option to create a standard part in millimeters. Those other components tend to work in inches. Uh, we want millimeters, it's a standard metric unit of measurement. Uh, if we use the inches, we'll end up creating a component that is slightly not the scale that we're trying to achieve. So I'm gonna click that and go for create, and it's gonna create a new part for us. So without further ado, I'm going to start a 2D sketch and I want to draw on the YZ plane. And if I zoom out a little bit using the zoom tool, it's going to just give us a little bit more room to work in. So I'm going to click on the line tool, draw a line uh, that is straight down by 47 millimeters. I'm then going to go across by 35. Zoom in a little bit, and we're going to use the offset tool now. Um, by doing using the offset tool, I can bring those in, and we're going to draw lines that are parallel to what we've drawn. And we're just going to use this unit of five, so we're going to click five, and that's created that. So then I want to start to draw the end of the uh, coat hook. So this line wants to be 14 millimeters long. Um, I want to toggle along between the measurement and the angle. So if I click my tab button, it highlights the angle now and I'm going to toggle to 20. So it's drawn me a line that's 14 millimeters long. That is at 20 degrees the line we've drawn. Then I'm going to draw a line along here that is seven. And then I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Click that and I'm going to click nine. And I'm going to draw a line that's down there like that. Now we zoom in and we look at it, those two lines are too long, so it gives us the opportunity to use the trim tool. So I'm going to click trim and I'm going to just get rid of that line there. And what it does is it highlights the line you want to trim and it will show you the bit that you're removing, which will be uh, a dotted line. So I'm going to move that there and that there. So I can now zoom out and I want to create the top of the coat hook. So that would be I'm going to draw a line from there to there. Uh, and this is the line needs to be 91 millimeters long. So I'm going to type in 91. You'll notice the units change, the numbers change to 91. And this angle wants to be at 50. So if I tab between the measurement and the angle and change that to 50, click return and escape, I can then find the end of that line and then I'm going to pan across. This line here wants to be 10 millimeters long. And I'm going to get a line here that would be uh, seven long. And I'm going to tab to that, and that wants to be 110 degrees. And then I'm going to draw a line here from the final line between. Zoom back out again, and there we have uh, the start of our coat hook. So I'm going to click Finish Sketch, and here, if I zoom out, I can then use the Extrude tool to turn this into a solid shape. So I'm going to extrude that by turn that number into 17. And out from there, we can see we've created the start of our coat hook. So that's going to be the end for this tutorial. Uh, I'm going to save it there. So file, uh, save as, and we're going to save that as coat hook. Uh, and I'm going to save. And it's just you want to save that. It's not letting me do that. So I'm going to do that for number two. Uh, you can save it in your folder, and I will welcome you back next time round when we're going to draw the holes in there to screw it to the wall. Uh, and we're going to use the fillet tool much.